Between midnight and one, it will find you. You're watching my good fiend, Roger Walker, on Slasher Pepper. Enjoy. <laughs> hey guys, Slash Tractor here. And welcome to another video. Today, uh, we're back in the Dr. Pepper Diner. It's the 21st of April, and the fog came along, as you just saw. That was actually a smoke machine. That was no green screen at all. That was, uh, really realistic, wasn't it? But as you've seen in the title, I'm gonna be reviewing the fog. So with that being said, let's just start off by reading the synopsis on IMDb. An unearthly fog rolls into a small coastal town exactly 100 years after a ship mysteriously sank in its waters. Simple concept, very effective. First up, this was a review one year in the making. I actually wanted to release this one on the 21st of April last year, but actually didn't. Didn't get around to doing it somehow. And I even made the damn thumbnail. I gotta say, I really like the characters and it's almost like an anthology film if you really think about it, because it focuses on different characters that all are in some way related to each other. And that's what I like so much about it. It's a movie that's not cut up in pieces, so it's not like, First they follow this character, and then they follow this character. And uh, they show it all, like how it affects everybody, like in pieces. They all th uh, show how, how the fog affects everybody in the town. Like together, it matches up, which is really great. So it isn't really an anthology, but you could really see it as an anthology though. John Carpenter does a great, great job with setting up the mood and all. There's a lot of atmosphere in here, which is kind of uh, something you can do really easily with like fog and, and like dark lighting and blue. The only thing that really bugs me about this film is that it's kind of, sometimes it kind of drags a little, but that's also like necessary to like uh, bring the whole vibe and atmosphere into the film. So really I don't think it would have been any better if it was shorter, but yeah, if, if the scenes that really set up like the atmosphere were actually like really necessary for the story as well i guess then it would have been even better but that's like the only really negative thing i can say about this that it drags sometimes but not enough to not have me rewatch this a ton of times and the soundtrack is so awesome i got to see it hit uh, john carpenter live like two years ago and this soundtrack was awesome live uh they even had like smoke machines up and uh, blue lighting <laughs> i'll show you a little clip of that concert That was actually the concert I was at, and it was awesome. It was so cool to see him live. This is one of those movies, like, I always tend to rewatch on the 21st of April. You know, that's just something you do on the 21st of April. You watch The Fog. It truly is a story. You tell it like a campfire. And that's what's so great, because it starts off with, uh, an old man telling this story at a campfire. And that really sets the tone and mood instantly. It catches the vibe. You can see like the children, like having, giving all their attention to the story. I love that. It's like the perfect start to a horror movie, honestly. Anyway, and I'm gonna be giving this one 8.5 Dr. Pepper out of 10. I truly love this film so much. I rewatched it today, the 21st of April. And it's so good. I can't say enough about this film. Besides dragging uh, every once in a while, it holds up really well. That's all I gotta say. See you guys next time. See ya. You're pissing me off, Roger. It's not